Okay, good people out there in YouTube, it's me once again, and I'm back with another review of another fine beverage. Now we've been doing, I've been doing uh, beer reviews, okay, and that's really what my point is to do beer reviews, but we decided to take something a little different here. We're going to do a review of a spirit. And what is the spirit? Well, spirit is basically, you know, liquor. You know, liquor or wine. That's what they call spirits. Anyway, here we go. NJ VSOP Brandy. Good, good look at that. Nice, attractive bottle, as you can see. Very nice. Yeah. E and J. This is, this is good stuff. This is very smooth. I can tell you that right now. I've had this on several occasions. And uh, this is brandy. And I know brandy is almost like the malt liquor of uh, the liquor world. Because people are like, well, uh, no, nah, man, I'm a baller. You know, I only drink a uh, cognac dog, you know. Nah, I don't hear all that. This will get you just as drunk as any cognac and cost half the price. Matter of fact, less than half. But um, this holds its own. It really does. This here. NJ VSOP will hold its own. Yes, it will. Against anything. But like I say, because it's cheaper, I think I got this bottle for $9.99. Since it's cheaper than cognac, it gets a bad rep. Because it's cheap. Yeah, like, you know, price is everything. Oh, well, not necessarily. There are good deals, good values out there, and I'm here to let the people out there and YouTube know that, and I'm here to review it and give a good, honest review of it. This is what I'm going to do now. So, we're going to review this, and this is the uh, VSOP brand, this Special Reserve, because you have a regular VSOP, but this is the Special Reserve. And this is nothing new. This has been out for a while. It just has a, a different label. It had, a, it had another label than this one. And I don't have one of those bottles to show you. But yes, this is just a different label. But it's basically the same concoction. So, we're going to open it up. Going to give it a pour. We're not going to use the mug for this one. Because I am not going to drink 24 ounces of this. If I did, uh, I'd be in Parkland Hospital. So we're going to give that a pour. Mm. I like this glass. It's small, fits the hand real easy. I don't have one of those snifter glasses that the connoisseurs use. But uh, hey, I can still get what I need to get out of this. I tell you what. So, it's clear. It has a very dark appearance to it. Yeah, like the color of oak wood. Fine oak wood, yes. Smell. Strange, I'm getting a sweet smell, which liquors usually have a sweet smell to them, but it's strong too. It's going up in my nose, you know, like, you know, mentholatum or something. Smell a little vanilla in there. Yeah. 
maybe even a little cherry in there the smell strange but you know it doesn't always smell the same way it tastes so let's give this a sip mm. yes I can taste a slight very slight vanilla taste to it and it's smooth going down but once it hits the stomach you get that burn but you know 40 percent alcohol what do you expect but this is good this is smooth this is very solid for the price mm. very smooth yeah you should get you a bottle of this and sip on this if you want to do a little sipping yeah and I know people are gonna say well oh no that's brandy I don't drink brandy uh, I'm a baller you know big money we drink cognac you know Hennessy okay well that's fine if you want to spend that kind of money but this is just as smooth as Hennessy side by side by Hennessy this is just as smooth and I know there's people out there that may disagree with me seriously try it for yourself go get you a half a pint of Hennessy and a half pint of E&J VSOP and try it and see for yourself is there really that much of difference there really is mm. this is real smooth you could drink this by itself you know on the rocks it makes a good mixer too you can mix this with uh, oh just about anything but you know my theory is with a darker liquor I usually will mix a soda with it usually don't use a juice in a dark liquor but you could hmm. It has a sweet taste to it, yes. I can taste a little, uh, yeah, like I said, a little vanilla in it. And this is good. This is not rot good. You don't get that burn you get when you drink Kentucky Deluxe or Windsor Canadian. You know, This isn't rot good. This is good. This is smooth. But, you know, my theory when it comes to liquor is that it seems to be all about image. You know, somebody walks into the bottle and they got some Hennessy or some Cavassier or they've got some um, Grey Goose or Ciroc. You know, it's all about image. And it seems to be more about image than about taste. But see... You know, I'm just a simple man. I don't make a lot of money. It's not that I can't afford Hennessy, but why spend 30 bucks on a bottle of Hennessy when I can get some some of this for $9.99 and get just as drunk and enjoy myself while I'm on my way to my drunkenness? You know, that's my theory on things. But like I say, with a lot of people these days it seems to be all about image all about image but you know what I can get an empty bottle of Hennessy I can pour this in it serve it to people and nine times out of ten they won't know the difference they'll think they're drinking Hennessy because it's all about image ah. well I know better so this is excellent I highly recommend this you know if you want to drink something you want to do a little alcohol and uh, you want to try something you know you like brown liquor I know some people say I don't drink brown liquor I highly recommend this cheers and have a nice day